In this video, we're going to write an entire survey to a land XML file. Let's start with the survey we ended up with after we imported a land XML file into Traverse PC. And I want you to notice that we have surfaces in here. Here I've turned on the existing surfaces. We've got these parcel traverses that I can turn on or off just by tagging them. And I have these alignments. So let's turn those back on. And let's come over to the File menu and choose Export. We're not going to take a look at this right now, but I have the opportunity to export just pieces of the survey, just the parcels, just the alignments, just the points, just the surfaces, etc. But for now, I want to export the entire surface as a land XML file. And let's just hit Export, tell Traverse PC that we want to write it. And we see it's writing the points, writing our two surfaces, writing our 83 parcels, writing our six alignments, and it's finished. Now, if we were to preview that file, Traverse PC is going to open that for me in a browser. And I'm going to just bring that over here real quick so you can see that. And we're going to let this run just a minute so I can collapse some of these areas. But I want you to see, since these are basically readable files, that uh, here are my units that I wrote. Here are the CG points, again, with the name, the um, code, the coordinates. I'm going to see if I can collapse these for us. Here are my alignments that I wrote from Traverse PC. Here's the first avenue. And uh, if you remember from the previous video, we said there were some vertical curves in here. So here are the vertical curves for that alignment. Let's go ahead and collapse that one. Here's another alignment, second avenue, third avenue, so on. Here are the parcels. Here's lot one. And this is the geometry for it, including the curve information. Let's go ahead and collapse parcel lot one. Here's lot two, same thing. After the parcels, if I can collapse that for us, here are the surfaces. And again, um, Traverse BC includes all the geometry for those surfaces. Here are the points involved with it. Here are the faces involved with that. If that surface had included break lines, uh, we would see the break lines here. Traverse BC does include the border edges in those tin faces. So we're going to see that information. And then any other additional information that Traverse BC includes in this version or future versions can also be added to that land XML file. And I can turn right around now and import this into any software that supports land XML, in this case, version 1.2. So any land XML application has access to the points, alignments, parcels, and surfaces that Traverse BC created. The great thing about uh, applications that support Land XML is that the data is rich enough in Land XML that they don't really care who created that surface. They have all the information they need about that surface.